And this episode is sponsored by Audible. If you know me, you know I'm an avid reader and I love Audible because they offer incredible selections of audiobooks across every genre from bestsellers to new releases to celebrity memoirs, mysteries, thrillers, motivation, wellness, business, and more. Audible also lets you enjoy all of your audio entertainment in one app. You'll always find the best of what you love or something new to discover. Personally, I think reading the right books is one of the best ways to change your life for the better, and that's why I want to recommend Audible to you. And once you become a member, you get full access to a growing selection of included audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts. I travel quite a bit, and Audible makes those long plane rides and road trips so much more of an enjoyable experience. And the new included selection of titles makes Audible membership more valuable than ever before. With thousands of titles to choose from and podcasts, to listen to, I think you should give it a try. So check it out today. Visit audible.com slash Mr. Make It Happen or text Mr. Make It Happen to 500-500. That's audible.com slash Mr. Make It Happen or text Mr. Make It Happen to 500-500. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you a delicious pasta that can be eaten for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. This is my recipe for pasta carbonara. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. It's a pasta party. And today we're going to look at our ingredients. We have six eggs, some Parmesan cheese, a half of an onion, one shallot, and I'm using Bucatini pasta noodles for this recipe. Now, feel free to use whatever pasta noodles you enjoy, but I love Bucatini for this particular recipe because they're hollow and that sauce gets in the middle of the noodle and it's just something amazing about that. You guys have got to give it a try. If you've never had Bucatini, check it out at your local grocery store. What I love most about this recipe is just how simple it is. Only a handful of ingredients, things that most people have laying around or in the fridge. I mean, who doesn't have bacon and eggs at the house? right so now we're gonna go ahead and get our prep work done and out of the way that way things flow a little bit smoother for us we're gonna dice up one onion you can use half an onion and a shallot like I did today, but it doesn't really matter. Just use whatever you have on hand. And this is a perfect example. Today, I had a half of an onion that I didn't use yet, so I added it to this recipe along with one shallot. Cooking doesn't always have to be an exact science, guys. The most important thing is to use ingredients that you enjoy and whatever you have readily available. So here we have a half diced onion, one diced shallot, and now we're going to dice up about a half cup of parsley. I'm using curly leaf parsley again because that's what was in the fridge, but flat leaf parsley will work just fine here as well. And now we're moving on to one of the stars of the show, which is this thick cut bacon. Now, traditionally, carbonara calls for what's called guanciale, which is pork jowl, but that's very hard to find, and most people aren't accustomed to the flavor of it. I actually like it, but I know that bacon is more common, so I chose bacon today. Real simple, my friends, just cut your bacon into bite-sized pieces like you see right here. If after you cook it, you notice that there's some larger pieces than others, you could always chop them up a little bit later. We're going to add all this bacon to a cold skillet, that way we can render a lot of that fat. You're going to increase the heat to about medium or so once you add the bacon to the skillet. Now, when you're at the store picking out your bacon, try to go with the good quality stuff. It's going to cost you a little bit more. Also, try to avoid anything that's like maple or anything that's too sweet. A nice, thick-cut, smoked bacon is perfect for this recipe. Again, working over medium heat, low and slow is the name of the game here. We just want to cook that bacon down, allow it to render all of its fat, which is going to act as a flavor provider for the rest of this dish. Once it's cooked down, we're gonna go ahead and add in the onion and the shallot and sweat that down as well. Your house is gonna start smelling absolutely amazing. Few things smell better than onion and bacon fat. I love this recipe because again, there's only a few ingredients and we know groceries are super expensive right now. So you can put together a delicious meal for relatively cheap and it comes together in about 30 minutes or less. You really can't beat this one guys. Give it a try for sure. Once the bacon's cooked perfectly, we're gonna use a slotted spoon to remove it and add it to a mixing bowl to cool off a bit. Once your water starts to boil, we're going to add some salt and then we're going to add our bucatini noodles and cook those per package instructions. While those noodles cook, it's time to grate up some Parmesan cheese. Again, getting the good quality stuff here. Anytime you're cooking a recipe that only has a few ingredients, you really want to focus on the quality of those ingredients. So we broke out the block shredder and we're going to shred up this delicious Parmesan cheese. Pecorino Romano cheese would work great here as well. There we go. We're going to set that aside and get started on our sauce, which is comprised mostly of eggs. We're going to go in with one whole egg and five egg yolks. Trust me on this one, guys. I promise you that the eggs will be cooked. 
but this is the base of the carbonara sauce. If you've ever eaten it at a restaurant, this is how it's prepared most of the time. And again, this is why you can eat this for breakfast, brunch, lunch, or dinner, because it's basically eggs and bacon and pasta. And we all know that's a winning combination. So again, one whole egg and five egg yolks. You can save those egg whites that we discarded and put those in the fridge for your egg white omelet in the morning, because you're definitely gonna need something healthy after all these carbs. But hey, we're here for a good time, not a long time, right? So we're gonna break out the whisk and mix to combine. We're gonna add in that Parmesan cheese with our egg and egg yolks. We're gonna season this up with my all-purpose seasoning or just a little salt and pepper will get the job done, but I like to add a little onion and garlic to the party as well. If you haven't tried my seasoning yet, it is fully in stock and the link is available for you in the description box below, so check that out. We're gonna give that one last mix to combine to make sure that seasoning is evenly distributed and then we're gonna add that to the mixing bowl with our bacon and onions. Make sure that the bacon and onions have cooled down to room temperature because we don't want to make scrambled eggs here, so don't add it when it's piping hot. One of the most important tips of this recipe is to reserve some of that pasta water and some of that bacon fat. We're going to add the bacon fat to the mix. The residual heat from the pasta water and the pasta is what's going to cook these eggs. So we're going to add a little pasta water at a time to thin things out, stirring constantly to basically emulsify this sauce. I know it sounds complicated, guys, but I promise it's super easy. We're gonna stir all that together, add in some of that parsley. You could add more Parmesan cheese as you see fit. And then we're gonna transfer this back to the skillet that we were using earlier. I like to start the process off the heat. That way you ensure you don't scramble your eggs. Once you emulsify the sauce, you can add it back to the heat and warm it back up. So once we've drained our noodles and they're fully cooked, we're gonna add them back to the skillet over medium low heat. And then we're gonna add our cheese and bacon and egg yolk mixture and mix everything together. Add in the last bit of that pasta water and you'll see the sauce come together beautifully. It's gonna coat the noodles super rich and delicious flavor profile we're gonna add a little bit more parsley for a pop of freshness and some color quick reminder guys that all the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below so don't forget to check that out i'm grating in some more parmesan cheese because why the hell not parmesan cheese is delicious and so is this pasta there you go my friends we are done it's time to plate this up and get ourselves a taste test but first, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. Oh, man. Look at that pasta carbonara. Now it's time to plate this up. We're going down with some fresh cracked black pepper. I'm also going to add some more fresh diced parsley and some more grated Parmesan cheese because it's a pasta party, right? Let's get in there with the fork and give this a taste test. Oh, man. That looks good. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know what other pastas you want to see. Now it's time for the moment of truth. I think I found my fork. Here we go. Look at that. This pasta recipe is a winner, guys. Give it a try. Definitely a fork drop recipe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give your boy a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.